Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Carbon here. In today's video, we're going to talk about time difference of arrival, or TDOA. Uh, TDOA is used with your HTS pod, and it is a aspect of seed. Uh, before we touch on TDOA, um, we're going to do a little primer on the new data link, uh, so that uh, mark point sharing and your TDOA go off without a hitch. This is mainly a focus on having human wingmen uh, versus AI. I think Wags covered it pretty well in his uh, video, but the human aspect is kind of um, vague to say the least. Uh, so with that being said, we'll hop in and uh, go over this data link real quick. All right, so let's get started on getting to our data link page. So what we're gonna do on the ICP is we're gonna hit list and then enter for our data link page and then we're daubering right twice. So once and then twice. What you'll notice here on our uh, DED is you'll have a one, a T, and then a five digit numerical STN number. We can go ahead and dauber down to switch our asterisks um, between T and then our STN and then down the next line T and then our STN and then once our asterisks are over an STN we can also alter it by entering a number and then enter but keep in mind changing it will take that T away what that T designates is TDOA so if there is no T next to an STN uh, you will not transmit uh, TDOA between the wingman so our STN is our data link number, um, and that's defaulted to one usually, and we can change um, it to four, for instance, if we want, which would be 514. However, that's probably already assigned to a wingman. Um, so default one, uh, you should be good to go. If you do change it, just be sure to uh, go ahead and put a T back there. All you have to do is highlight it and hit any of the numbers on the number pad. It should already be set up in the mission editor, but just confirm and correlate with your wingman uh, that your STN numbers do match. So here I'll give a uh, example of using TDOA as lead, uh, giving it to two wingmen and then triangulating this uh, snow drift. So I'm not sure what happened with my recording, but I'm going to go ahead and voice it over. Uh, there is a snow drift at uh, 12 o'clock, and I call that out, and I let my wingman know. At this point, I'm going to TMS over the snowdrift and then let them uh, know with words that, hey, don't have anything on the hat or HTS locked uh, because we're going to do TDOA. I TDOA by holding TMS left long, and that will put TDOA up in the HUD there under the heading tape. At this point, I say bracket, and my wingmen are going to bracket Three right. Three is going right. Three is going right also. So at this time, I'm going to go ahead and bracket left um, to get a good triangulation going. And then I'm going to pause it right here. Um, so how I know is we got to get a triangulation, as you'll see, a plus SD for uh, snowdrift on the head. And then you'll see the dotted lines as well from your wingman. And then at this time, you can go ahead and send uh, over a mark point. Your wingman can then slave to that mark point, and then we can go ahead and slave our targeting pod over um, once that is done. All right, is that the mark point for the data? All right, good data. Capture. Right on. Oh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> that there's the gist of TDOA. Please like, share, and comment.